Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a composite variable um, using the existing variables. So let's uh, look at our data set and describe um, knowledge score, skill score, attitude score. These are the three variables you can see. So all of them uh, here uh, also we we need to we need to know if if the, these variables are in the same uh, measurement unit so for that we use summarize or in in short su or sum and you can see that the the, the minimum and maximum for knowledge score is 50 to 99 for this one skill score 1 to 5 and attitude score 151 to 398 so this means that all all of these measures are not in the same unit. So therefore, we need a unit that that can be comparable, that are in the same uh, unit of analysis or unit of measurement. Currently, as it stands, it's not in the same unit of measurement. So we we need to find a common unit, and the the common way of doing it is is the standardization, or um, taking it into the Z score so that uh, you can compare it, and it's it's all of the variables now on the on the same scale same unit I hope this makes sense so the way we create um, so first now we before we create a composite variable we need to make this variable in the st standard unit or st we make to standardize these variables so the way to do it is to um, type egen and you can name the variable the way you want egen and um, knowledge score for example so we we just add z because we convert it to z score std and um, then you add this variable so that you were saying that you want it to be standardized for this variables uh, on a z-score um, so this variable created um, similarly uh, you bring in here um, uh, the skill score and then you name it skill score uh, z and hit enter so also created this variable now we 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 need uh, another variable in the z score uh, that is attitude score and then we we name it attitude attitude score hit enter so now we we have created this variable here as you can see knowledge score z skill score z attitude score z so they are now all standardized in the same unit so now we can add them together and divide it by three because there are three variables so that's how we create uh, your variable so i'm going to show you how to uh, get it done so you write generate or gen in short and then composite composite score equals you drag them all and bracket and then plus and then plus so knowledge score skill score plus g score and bracket end divided by three because it's three the three numbers so okay uh, hit enter and you get the composite score here so if you uh, see summarize the variable now you can see there's 100 observations this is the mean and this is the standard deviation minimum maximum so what it does is basically creating a composite variable on on this on the on the variables that are supposedly uh, highly correlated meaning that they have uh, uh, like if somebody has like better attitude scores they should have better skill and they should have better knowledge so uh, so when you see that there there are kind of supposedly correlated variables you can make them one 
Um, so you no longer need those all three variables because they are measuring the kind of similar thing. So you 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 add them together and you create a composite variable and you name it. I name it composite variable, but you can name it differently, like um, maybe um, maybe an ability score or something. Uh, part of which is knowledge, skill, and attitude. So for your empirical analysis, whatever way you 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 want it, and the theoretical and background knowledge that informs you about the creation of new variable. So I think um, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next video. If you like this video and if, if you think it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for thank you very much for.